So you just got your new Subaru. You're excited to learn all there is to know about it. And your salesperson hands you this booklet of owner's manuals. Now, while this is nice to have and to rely on for more specific things, you shouldn't have to. I'm gonna show you today five things that you can adjust on your new Subaru whenever you first get it. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly Subaru videos. So if you enjoy that type of content, please be sure to click that subscribe button. And also if you guys learn something new today and get value out of this video, please be sure to click the like button. The details in this video are going to be for 2020 and newer Subaru models. However, if you have an older generation Subaru that you have questions on, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer that for you. The first setting I wanna show you guys has to do with getting the car comfortable for your own seating position and driving position. The first thing you can do is adjust your seats. Now, not all of them come with power seats. I'll show you what the manual seat looks like in just a second, but with the power adjustability, you can move the seat forward, back, you can raise it up or down. You can even tilt the seat base. And then this right here adjusts your angle of your seat back. And then not all of them have the lumbar support, but if it does, this is what it looks like. And this is what the manual adjustment seat looks like. You have a metal bar up here that you lift up to move this base forward and back. This lever right here increases or decreases the height of the base. And then this lever right here, you pull that and that will change the angle of your seat back. The second adjustment is with your steering wheel. All new Subarus have a lever right here where you can release the steering wheel. Whenever you get inside the car, you can pull it forward, push it away, move it up and down. It's a fully telescopic steering wheel. And then once you get it in a comfortable spot, you can just take that lever and lift it up and lock it in place. If you want a tip on where to adjust your steering wheel for the most comfortability, I had somebody recently tell me that just extend both of your arms out all of the way. And whenever your wrist is resting, the back of your wrist is resting on the edge of the steering wheel like this with your hand out in front, that is the distance you should have your steering wheel. That way, whenever you're in the relaxed position, because you're not always gonna be extended out like this, but whenever you're in the relaxed position, you have plenty of room to make turns and drive comfortably. I don't know where he heard that, but I did try this recently and it seems to be a really comfortable spot. So I'm gonna start telling more people about it. The next setting that we wanna adjust is with your headlights. So from the factory, your headlights may be turned to the off position. This is the little O right here. You wanna set those to auto. That way your lights will automatically turn on whenever it gets dark out. There's another adjustment you can make with your automatic headlights, and that's within the touchscreen display. Now this touchscreen is for the Outback and the Legacy. However, I am gonna show you how to do it in all other Subarus in just a moment. I'm gonna hop over to another Subaru, the Subaru Crosstrek, which will be representative of all other Subarus in the new model lineup. To access the adjustments for your auto light sensors, just click on settings. You'll most likely be on general as the main screen. You wanna scroll over to car. And then from car, you wanna scroll down to where it says auto light sensor. So we click on that. And this actually within the Outback will tell you, if you click on the eye right here, it'll tell you what this is. So basically it's just telling you that the lights, the headlights will automatically turn on when it is too dark. This setting right here allows you to change the sensor for the light sensitivity. So basically, it will change when your automatic headlights will turn on. For example, for mid and max, your headlights are going to turn on earlier in the day as it's gradually getting dark, maybe towards dusk. For min and low, the lighting outside has to get darker before your automatic headlights will turn on. So basically what I usually suggest people to do is keep it on mid or max because that means your headlights are going to turn on much sooner than min and low. And it's definitely better to have visibility for yourself much sooner as it starts to get darker outside and also for visibility from others so people can see your car as you're driving through the night. The second feature that is not on all Subarus, but is on this one in particular, is the wiper link. So this will actually turn on your headlights whenever your windshield wipers have continuously gone, even if it's daylight. So for example, if it's a gloomy day, it's still bright out, but it is raining and you're using your wipers, your car is automatically going to turn on your headlights just as a safety feature so people can see you while you're driving. 
Now we are sitting in a 2021 Subaru Crosstrek. We need to make sure that our headlights are set to auto. The auto light function will only work when this is set to auto. But just like the Outback and the Legacy, we go over here to the touchscreen display, we click on settings, we scroll over to vehicle, we scroll down to where it says auto light sensor, we click on that, and we can adjust it according to what settings we want right here. Now from the factory, it does come with mid, which I think is a perfectly good setting, but I wanted to be sure you knew how to adjust this to your liking. All new Subarus come with EyeSight, and two functions that EyeSight has is lane departure warning and pre-collision braking. For most Subarus, you're going to have the buttons up here to turn these on and off. Now with the Outback and the Legacy, it's within the infotainment display. I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. But for all other Subarus, for the lane departure warning, you go up here on the near the dome light and you just click and hold this. You see the little icon with the car leaving. So you click and hold that. You'll hear a beep and then on your dash display, it will tell you that it's turned off. So if you do get the annoying alerts whenever you're getting too close to either side of the road and you don't want that alert to happen anymore, then you can just turn it off there. Now, in order to turn it back on, it's really simple. You just have to click and hold it you hear the beep and it'll turn it back on and the way you know it's on is on the dash you won't see it lit up orange telling you that it's off the pre-collision braking has the same on off function so you click and hold this you'll hear it beep it'll tell you that's off so that will turn off your automatic braking now instances where you might want to turn that off is if you have to go through an automatic car wash even if your car is in neutral the automatic braking can still work if you're going through an automatic car wash now it's not always a given that if you're going through a car wash it's going to shut off but if you wanted to know how to turn it off you can do so there and then you can turn it back on simply by clicking and holding now we're back over in the Outback. I'm gonna show you how to access the EyeSight settings in your 11.6 inch display. So you just go to settings, you scroll over to car, and then you scroll down to where it says EyeSight. And then the very first option is pre-collision braking. This is where you can turn it on and off. And then the second option here is your lane departure prevention function. Now with the Outback, you have the audible alert or the buzzer where you can have it where it only will audibly alert you whenever you're leaving your lane. And then you have another function that will actually use the power steering to keep you centered in your lane. So if it does detect that you're getting too close, it will actually steer you back into your lane. So you can have either or, or you can have both of those functions with the lane prevention function and the audible alert all in one with all functions. The fourth setting that you'll want to know how to adjust is your maintenance notifications. So within the touchscreen display, you can actually go into your maintenance notifications to set reminders for when oil changes are due or regular maintenance is due. So for the Outback and the Legacy or the, any of the cars that have this 11.6 inch touchscreen display, you just go to the home screen, you click on car info, you scroll over to maintenance, and then right here you can adjust different reminders for specific dates or even by mileage. Now by default, all new Subarus require oil changes or they're recommended once every 6,000 miles or once a year, whichever comes first. So in order to set that in here, you click on the little gear icon next to any of these and you can set a specific date. So we can just set a random date for the oil change, we click on set that will set that reminder for January 1st, 2022 to get your oil changed. So we're gonna click out of that and you'll see it set right there. Now, if I go in here and I click on the gear icon and I click on update, by default, it's going to clear out the date and it's always gonna switch it back to 6,000 miles remaining because that's what's factory recommended. To adjust the maintenance notification in all other Subarus, it's slightly different. For example, this is in the Subaru Ascent. With the Subaru Ascent, if it has the multifunction display up there, you can actually use these up and down arrows to toggle to a menu item that allows you to go into your settings to make adjustments. So whenever you get to this setting that says press and hold view, you press and hold that, and it'll bring you into this menu screen where you can go down to maintenance, 
you use that view button as a select and then now you can go here to click on each individual maintenance item that you want to set a reminder for so if we click into view i'm not going to reset this one because it is a new car that's getting ready to be sold. It has 21 miles on it currently. As you can see, the remainder is 5,988 for the reminder, but you can go in here manually and adjust the date to set that to whatever your personal preferences are. Now we're sitting in a Forester, which is going to be similar to all of the other Subaru models. So we're gonna start out by clicking this info button and it's gonna to toggle through the multi-function display up there. So this part is sort of similar to the Ascent in that you've got the multi-function display. Instead of having the buttons up on the dash, you just have this info button here. So we toggle through until it says push and hold the info button. So we push and hold that. And that will get us in our menu screen where we can toggle down to maintenance. So in order to toggle down, we use these up and down arrows in the I slash set, that is our select button. So you just pull on these. So I'm gonna pull on the down arrow to get us down to maintenance. And then I'm gonna click this I slash set to get us into the menu. And then now we can go in here and adjust our different maintenance schedules. So. Uh, this one has 3,706 miles left till its next oil change. Again, I'm not going to reset this one. But now you can see where you can access this to set a date or specific mileage for your new Subaru. And then to get out of this screen, you just go all the way down where it says go back. Again, you're using this I slash set for the select button. So you click on that. Click on go back. And now you're back in your regular screen. Another quick setting that you might want to know how to use is by powering on and off the display. So if you're traveling and you've got people who are sleeping in the back seat, or maybe this brightness is just straining your eyes, you want to be able to turn this off. You can click and hold and that will power the display off. And that way it's not blinding anybody who is trying to rest in the back. Whenever you turn it back on, you just click and hold and that will turn the display right back on. You can do this with the other smaller touchscreen displays in the Subarus with the same functionality. You just click and hold and that will make the screen go black and to turn it on, you just click it again. Speaking of the brightness of the displays, I did forget to mention that you can adjust the brightness of your display over here. And there is something to be aware of on this little scroll. So this is really dim and this is really bright. And this is always on the brightest mode, no matter what it's like outside. If you have the dots aligned here, it will always stay full brightness. But if you put it down just one or two notches, it will actually use the exterior light, so however much daylight there is, to determine how bright the screen should be. So that is another way that you can help decrease the strain on your eyes by automatically dimming not only your gauge cluster up here, but also your touchscreen display. And if your car is equipped with it, the multi-function display up there on the dash. The last setting I want to show you guys has to do with all Subarus except for the Subaru Ascent. I'm actually not sure why the Subaru Ascent doesn't have this feature, but it is called Auto Start Stop. And that feature actually shuts the engine off whenever your car comes to a complete stop to save on fuel and decrease the emissions that are being put out into the environment. I'm guessing the Ascent already meets its emission requirements with the federal government, and that's why it isn't required to have it. But if you guys know the answer to this, leave it down in the comment section below. But anyways, I always get asked, how do you turn the auto start stop feature off? First and foremost, you should know that by default, the auto start stop will always be on. So that means if you turn it off, like I'm about to show you how to do, whenever you restart your car each time, it will be back on. However, it is very easy to turn off and it's very quick. So I'll show you how to do that now. So on all Subarus, except for the Outback and the Legacy, you'll see the auto start stop button right here. The icon is an A with an arrow around it. Whenever you click that in, it will light up orange on your dash telling you that it is off. So right now, for the entirety of your trip, that will stay off. But if I come to a stop, if I'm at my destination, I turn the car off and I turn it right back on, we'll see that the auto start stop is now back on. It's lit up white. For the Outback and the Legacy, it's also very easy to quickly turn off your auto start stop. 
the same icon, the A with the arrow around it, is always on your touchscreen display. So you can turn that off quickly. So whenever it's not lit up green, that means your auto start stop feature is off. And this can be activated from anywhere on your screen because down here, this display is totally separate from the top display. So I can turn it on right now and turn it off without having to go to the home screen. So it's very easy to navigate to because it's always displayed there. But again, whenever you shut the car off and turn it back on, this will be on by default. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to click the like button. I'd greatly appreciate that. Also, if you guys wanna get notified when I post new videos just like this one, please be sure to click that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification right next to that. And I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you in the next one.